John 3.16 says this, For God so loved the world that he gave his only and his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. This simple passage reminds me that there is someone who cares, someone who knows each of them and loves them. That is God. God cares. They matter to him. They have a purpose in each of their lives. Today we may know them. We may not know them. We may not know anything about them. But we gather for one simple reason. Because we care. They're Carolyn and Daryl Dickinson. Daryl had been loved. cared for it by his wife. When he passed away, his ashes were kept close to her. She died in a care facility with him beside her. No longer able to care for herself, no longer able to take care of him. But what became of their family and friends, we don't know, but God does. They may have outlived them, we have no idea. But we know that they mattered at least to each other matter to us today. They may have outlived a lot of people. Another of those we've identified is Albert Jones. He was known as a loner who enjoyed working out and caring for himself. He was also described as an ex extensive music and movie collector. All by himself. A lot of things he did. He found happiness. He seemed to be found joy and happiness with those things. And each of us need to find areas of our life there are three things we can learn from their example. Whether that's good or bad, we can learn from them. Their lives did matter. The three things for us are, number one, it is possible to waste your life. Life is precious and short. Make the most of it. Invest yourselves in people around you. Make a difference where you are. Number two, it's po it is possible to leave behind I don't know why they're isolated and lonely. My mind can imagine many, many things. But I know that each of us may be alone in some ways. But we can love and forgive rather than hold grudges and build walls and barriers. Rather than isolating ourselves. Show you care for those around you by your actions and your attitudes. The third one is, it's possible to not have a relationship with God. I have no idea the relationship between these we enter and God, but I do believe we must have a personal relationship with God to live a full life. We need to build a strong relationship with God, a relationship in which we feel the peace and comfort that only God can give. So we thank you for being here. We thank you for taking the time from your busy schedules, your activities,